He began at Moses. Musa. The prophets and the sons and he talked about things about himself. On radio I've been emphasizing the disaster of the Lord. Yes. Now, today I want you to hear something. If you are following me on radio, you may have heard what I said. I've said, and I repeat, for the purpose of this, the law is not bad. Why? It announced the coming of Christ. How? 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 Number one. The law has three functions. How many? The first one. Praise the Lord. The first one is to prove to you that you are not only a sinner, but you walk in sin. Can you tell it to me? That's the first function of the law. And very many people get offended by the law. Because it has proved that this position in the afternoon. Yes. First of all, it comes. It first brings evidence that you, man, you have seen. After proving that, it even proves to you that you not only have sin, but you walk in sin. You talk in sin. You live in sin. You walk in sin. You breathe in sin. That's what David said. You are even born in sin. That's the law. Now, it cannot leave you until when you believe that. After you believe that, I have seen, born in sin, I live in sin, I walk in sin, I walk in sin. Then it does the second function. The second function, it is to prove to you that it there is nothing you can do to leave that sin. That's very painful. It proves you are too weak to save yourself from that sin. You are powerless. Prayer you cannot deliver it from that sin. That's why some of you pray. You fast. In fact, the more you fast, eh? if you have been sleeping with one woman, mm. last may you may sleep now for five. If you are looking at one, you eh? may start to look at men. The last candle. Oh, Why? Because the second function of the law. You fast. No siva. You give. No way. You pray. No saba. You call upon. No no nya no nya. Jesus, help me. Nyamba. I pray to. That's the function of that. Until when you acknowledge it, you cannot do anything to save yourself from sin. That's the second function. The third function of the road. Now, after you believe that you are sin, you cannot save yourself from sin. The third one, that is what brings Jesus to save you. Listen carefully. The coming of Jesus is to save a person under the following description. You are sin, you lack power to save yourself from sin. As long as you have a bit within you, to think you can stop yourself. I tell you this is what he says. That. He cannot. That's the function of that. Now, when Paul says that, that's what he meant. So, from what you have heard, is the robot? No. Now, when Jesus comes, he's working on a person who is living in sin and cannot save himself from sin. That's why he comes. If yes, when he comes, those are the people he's looking for. 
not know brethren <laughs> for I speak to those who know the law that the law has dominion over a man as long as he lives you don't know what that statement means <laughs> he says eh, the law has dominion over a man as long as he lives meaning we can only be saved from the law when we die you are saved. Mm. Okay, that is statement deep. can it is deep. Huh? Mm. You can be saved from the law. When you die. Can you read it for me in Uganda? Meaning, when you are dead, the law cannot work. The law cannot work. The law cannot control you. When you are dead, are you following? Now this is the trouble is. First give me. There's something that passes. In first Corinthians 15. Corinthians eh? fifteen. And you come back to seven. Okay? I mean. First Corinthians. Okay. I want us to go there together. Okay. Death is sin, uh -huh. and the strength of sin is the law. You see that? Luganda. 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 We okufa, okuangula kuli luiwa. We okufa, okuluma ko kuli kuli luiwa. You see that? Fifty six. Okuluma ko okufa chechiri. Can you say that again? Okuluma ko okufa chechiri. Uh huh. Nama ni gechiri gemateka. Death, strength. Of sin, a man you get to be is the what is the law. Yeah, so, yeah. what the law does, yeah, yeah. it empowers sin yeah. to control or kufuka. That's what the law does, yeah, yeah. so that you can have no power yeah. to think that you can overcome sin on your own. That was the purpose. When the law comes, it is to give sin power to control. Now, when you remove the law, sin is powerless. It cannot remove anything. So the law gives strength to sin. Grace makes sin weak. So the more grace you have, the more power you have against sin. But the more you live in the law, eh, sin becomes powerful and it controls you. Can you say those words again? Can you say those words again? Okuluma ko kufa chechiri, na mani kechiri gemateka. So what is the power of sin? What is the power of sin? The law is the power of sin. I forgot that. Now go back to Romans chapter 7. Verse 1, continue. 
or do you not know, brethren? Uh -huh. For I speak to those who know the law, uh -huh. that the law has dominion over a man as long as he lives. Now, the law that gives sin power, man. so that sin can control me, that law okay, controls me as long as I'm alive. Meaning, as long as a human being is alive, he can never stop seeing. That's what it means. Why? When you are alive, the law is alive. And when it's alive, it empowers sin. And sin controls you. When sin controls you, you die. That's the mechanism. Have you understood that? For, for the woman who has. Now, uh, what is describing there? It is the most misquoted verse in the Bible. That's why you have to pay attention. Amen. Listen. Uh -huh. For the woman who has a husband is bound by the law to her husband. Now, as as he, lives. he gives an example of the law. There's what he called the law of marriage according to Moses. You Gentiles, you are using the Jewish law of marriage to do your marriage. Which Moses gave this way? Now, yeah. Are you following? Are you really following? Amen. Now he says. The example he's giving you is a law of marriage according to Moses. He uses it as an analogy to explain something. get a hidden meaning behind it. So read it with understanding. For the woman who has a husband is bound by the law to her husband as uh -huh. long as he lives. Uh -huh. That's what the law says. Okay, give me verse 2, then you read at once in Uganda. Verse 3. Three. Three. So, so then, if, if, huh? so then if huh? while her husband lives, uh -huh. she marries another man, uh -huh. she will be called an adulterer. She will be called what? An adulterer. Uh -huh. But if her husband dies, uh -huh. she is free from that law. Can you read it again, please, please, please? But, but if her husband dies, uh -huh. she is free from that law. Uh -huh. So, so that she is no, she is no adulterer. Uh -huh. though, though, as though as she married another, though man, she has, though she has married another man. Can you say that again? But if her husband dies, uh -huh. she is free from that law, uh -huh. so that she is no adulterer, uh -huh. though she has married another man. You have got that? Verse 4. Verse 4. This is an analogy. He uses to explain something. Therefore, therefore, my brethren, you also, you also have become dead to the law through the body of Christ, that, that you may be married to another so that you may be married to another, to him who has raised him from the dead. That 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 we that we should bear fruit to God. Let me get one woman and the two men here. That explain what Paul meant here. So Can you please try to hurry? I need a, a woman here. 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 Now here. Now you know you are born again. Now you are here. Kia, kia. Go, okay, be there. Now be here. I want you to be here in your middle. According to the law yeah? of Moses. Okay. The moment this man marries this woman. According to the law. Remember what do people call sins? They are descriptions of the Lord Moses, which were given to a nation called Israel. You are not a Jew, you are a Gentile. Yes, you have to be very careful in the Bible. Now, okay. So, according to Moses' law, okay, this man is married to this wife. Okay. Now, as long as this man is not 
Okay, as long as this man is alive, this woman cannot marry any other man. Even if she calls fire, fire for the devil. Let me repeat my words. According to the law of Moses to the children of Israel. No, let me say it again. According to the law. Okay? As long as this man is alive, the woman may start to pray these prayers. Fall and die. Fall and die. Fall and die. die. Fall and 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 if you break it, you die before you fix so. That was the law. Now, when this man dies, when he does what? This woman is free to marry this man. Can I say that again? When this man dies, we see his grave. We mourn, we even look through the castle. Because if you are the second man to take this one, you need to go to one again and check DNA whether the man is here. And you listen. According to the law, it was supposed to be no more death. Because not to be no fidgeted you uh -uh, real day. So when a man dies, this woman is free to marry another man. Okay? Amen. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah? Yes. Now come. 
This man, go back to chapter 2, verse 2. For the woman, the woman is you. And I believe you are not designed to be a child. Are you following? Uh -huh. For the woman who has a husband. Now, where there is woman is you. Husband is the law. Following? Uh -huh. Is bound by the law to her husband. Is it bound by the law to that husband? As long as he lives. As long as this man lives. So, as long as the law lives. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Eh? You can never break away from it. Meaning, eh, you cannot stop seeing it. That is Moses. Moses. When you welcome the Lord in the church, you know what you are doing. You are giving people appetite to sin more. Those who are last at 10% in it goes to because the Lord increases last. It makes sin more awakened. That's what it does. So that you start crying for help. Help me, Jesus, and go. You have the strength to call upon him. You can still call upon him. Have you understood this? Uh -huh. Can you read? As long as he's bound by the law to her uh -huh. husband, as long as he lives. Uh -huh. But if her husband dies, if her husband what? If her husband what? If her husband what? Uh -huh. She's released from the law of her husband. She's released from the law of her husband. Are you following me? Yeah. How did that happen? That's what Paul is explaining. So, so then if while well, her husband lives, as long as this husband is alive, mm -hmm. uh -huh. if she marries, a, okay, she marries another man, and if she marries another man, she will be called an adulterer. This woman will be called an adulterer. Therefore, she will die. By law, she will be stoned to death. By now, they cannot be stoned to death, but the world can stone with stones. Which stones are they? You know them. 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 But if her husband dies, huh? she is free from that. Road. When this husband dies, she is free. Uh -huh. So that she is no adulterer. So that she is no what? Uh -huh. Continue. Though she has, though she has married another man. Though she has what? Married another man. Though she has what? Married another man. Married another man. What causes her to marry another man? The death of this what? Are you following? Yes. Okay, verse Therefore, my brethren, huh? you also have become dead to the law through the body of Christ. First thing. That's what the trouble is now. When Christ came, Christ eh? I mean, this is what happened. The law was still there. When Jesus was walking, Christ it was still there. Are you following? Yeah. Now, when Jesus comes, Christ Do you know what he does? He, you. When you are married to the Lord. And it's because of that that you can still sin. You are controlled by sin. Eh? This is what the Lord does. You see the way you are there. It gives you an idea. For example, I'm going to give you an example. If we don't put traffic lights, Eh? On a road, can you arrest me for passing? No. No. Okay. When you arrest me, if we put traffic lights, that's a law. 
Red meat store. Orange meat store. Green meat store. Now, if they say green meat go, and instead of going, I don't go. What have I done? I have broken down. You have got that? Now, another time, I pass. But the traffic lights are not working. They are not working. And I just passed. Have I broken them? Huh? Yeah. Why? Because the law is not there. When the law is there, sin is there. Now, when the law is what? It is the law that says, at red stop. When you don't stop what happened, you have broken it. That is what you call sin. You are getting it. You are getting it. Now, that is what you call the law. First give me Romans, and you come back faster. Romans 5.13. Can you turn to me? Can you turn to me? Can you turn to me? For until the law, sin was in the world. Huh? But sin is not imputed when there is no law. That's dangerous. Luganda. Luganda. Kumango kutu sa kumateka. Uh-huh. Echibi chari monsi. Na echibi echibari wa abata wa mateka. Why do you say that again? Kumango kutu sa kumateka. Echibi chari monsi. Echibi chari monsi. monsi. Na ye? Na ye echibi echibari wa. Echibi echibari wa. That's what you call them. When the God speaks, please that someone. Unless he has not spoken. You are free. Have you got that video yet? Have you got that video yet? Pray for you that things don't be not end. The moment you move out and you think about rent, stop from all the walls of being you. I will take a stand and watch you. the word from you. So what have you noticed? If there is no law, is it seen there? Huh? Okay, if there is no, is there a sin? Yes, sir. Yeah. Eh? Okay, who knows one of your traffic lights? You know all everywhere. Is is so, if those traffic lights are not working, and we want traffic to move at one day, what does government do? Government at least they invite a policeman to stand. What do you say? He said, you stop this. Now, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to and I may go to prison. But traffic lights are off. No police officer. What happens? I never pass there when that station is there. There is a And there, even if you do anything, you have not seen it. You have not seen it. So if you do anything, you have not seen it. If I've understood that, please, that's fundamental, please. Please, 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 please. So who puts the law? God. 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 Please, 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 please. 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 Please, please, as long as the law was there, this, this you, this is you. 
You can see. You can stop seeing. When you die. Go food day. Can you tell it to me? Chachigambe my daughter. Otherwise, otherwise, if you don't die, Botafa, you as you going up with the law must die. So on the two way, you either die, but even your children will sin because they are under the law. Oh, the law dies and you remain there and you stop sin. If you have understood that, we must take it and move it up. Very, very important. Are you really following? Huh? Mm -hmm. Now this is what happened. We are not following. Give oh, give to come back in. Luganda, Luganda. Here, Vasco. Huh? to Baganda, Eh? This is the issue now. When Jesus came, yes, we He didn't kill the Lord. No, you need to move. You, you are the one who is supposed to die. Because there are more disobedient people, the Lord must work up. You didn't do that. So, what he did, he said, Okay, you are supposed to die. Now, this is Jesus. Do you know what he does? You, you are supposed to die. You are supposed to die. You are supposed to die. So what he does, because according to the law, so Jesus does two things. The first one, he dies. When he dies, that death is your death. Meaning, when Jesus dies, it is you who has died. Meaning, the law cannot control you. Hey, you are clapping hands. It is there. But because now Jesus is the new husband. When he comes, eh, instead of you dying, okay, he dies your death. Look here. The law is not satisfied until when you die. That's what Paul started with. Can you go back to verse 1? Luganda. If you are following me, read, read, read. 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 Read, read, so what Jesus did, eh? his death was your death. So when he dies in your death, the Lord counts you dead. So it can no longer control you. Therefore, you have no ability to see. Even if it's there. What is the death of Jesus? The death of Jesus is when he satisfies the Okay. It is when he satisfies. Mm -hmm. He has proved to the law mm -hmm. that you have done. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Yes. And it can no longer control you. So, so when he died, he had died your death. The moment Jesus died, yes, we are far. Eh? Mm. The law was taken up. The moment Jesus said, Yes, we are That is how you are set free. Now you are two. Now you are the one. You have been married to a new husband. Now you are the one. This husband is Christ. And now you, you are the bride. Huh? Are you following? Praise the Lord. Now, meaning for you eh, to 
sin again. Yeah? Jesus must not die again. Yes, Which is impossible. So is it dead? Bow to you permanent. Permanent. So meaning you are under a new law. Of what we call the law of spirit and life. What we call the, Twitter, the law of Christ. Are you following? Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can that man first come back? Yes. Can you flow in Uganda verse 5, 6, 7, 8? Because there's something that I want these people to understand. Read, read fast. Uganda. 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 As long as the child movie takes over, take it. 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 Take Fetuberega abatu mubuja uhomo yo Sosimu nukuta ezeda Sosimu uji? Sosimu uji? Sosimu uji? Sosimu uji? Sosimu uji? Can you continue? Kale tunayogira tutia Ama teka che chibi Chitalo Na ye Sandi teke te chibi Wabula muma teka Chite mwenye nide sato Kumanga sandi teke te chibi Wabula muma teka Chite mwenye Sandi teke te chibi Wabula mu mateka. Sikato wali teka nani teke dechi? Wacha. Eh? Wacha. Wateke lo dechi mi? Wateka mateka. So dechi kuteke zechi? Mateka. Can you say that again? Sandi teke dechi mi? Wabula mu mateka. Continue. Kumanga sandi manye kwe gomba. Singa amateka tegayo giranti. Tewe gomba anga. No, no, you have not understood. Can you say it again? Kubanga Sandi take it. These people are talking to what did Jesus speak to them? Musangi Sandi. Hey, hey, hey. Can you say it again? Kubanga Sandi mani kwe gomba. Ah, singa amateka tega yogiranti. Tewe gomba anga. So, church kule tega followers. What causes you to? Kubanga tega. The government owns it. We have no. That is very important to the church. If the Lord is saying fornication, you would not fornicate. The ability to fornicate would be there, but you don't know. Can a baby of one year sleep with a woman of four years? The baby doesn't know. So they don't let you know. And when your body knows the seed, of another one, the license is to go. Go and see. You cannot prevent yourself from seeing. Have you seen the bondage we are in? Have you understood what I'm saying? You think it is this a bit explainer? You know when men, men are gambling in the scriptures? Hey, is this a bit explainer? You Christians. Christian, now, the law what it does, it makes the sin aware that sin is there. Now, the 
That's what Paul is saying. To Paul, to this is Christian. This is an apostle. Mm. Yeah. Sent to whom? Sent to whom? To Gentiles, you and me. First, forget what those political bishops are saying. Please follow what the Bible is saying. Can you say that again? 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 Can you Hey, eight. Kubanga, Kubanga, awata ba mateka, echiringa chifu dey. 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 Nine. Nabe eda na vanga mula mu, awatali mateka. Aha, na chinde mu, chinde mu. Nabe eda na vanga mula mu, awatali mateka. Aha, na ye e chira kilo bechaja, e chiri ne chizukira, na ge neva. That is power. Your power. No, you say it again. Na ge eda. Na vanga mula mu, bino bikuwa muti mapoku lo koko loani. Na ge eda na vanga mula mu. Eda Paulo yavanga muzi mula mu, aha, awata ni mateka, awata iji mateka, aha, ne e chira kilo bechaja, e chira kilo bechaja, e chini ne chizukira, abaruganda, e chini ne chikola, ne chizukira, bechaja sukira chaja tu kau, na ge neva, rati, empera ye chibi, anya suki se chibi, teka, yes, teka, teka. Continue there. Don't get there. There. Nature that you chocolate chocolate Continue. Kumanga HV, Wichima, or Nechinimba. Nechubalaji. Nechinimba. Nechubalaji. Nechinimba. So kuli makuta ni kakuja. Pobera nechi neteka. Eh, nechi biki tani kokuimba. Wechi kuimba. Na wata ni kokuimba kokuimba. When you light, you also start lying. Go ni kago ayoke ni kago stand yao. Aina kaga kusita ni kona ka. Taina we ya yoke ni kusita ni na. Continue. Nae HV, 
chila bike okuwa HIV ha? Kuwanga chichande chila okufa uwe chilu unji ha? HIV chili okeche yonge denga okuwe la HIV uwe chila gilo HIV chile yonge na okuwe HIV uwe chila gilo luwaji Tuwa nituwe usafu santi tetuina HIV Kati eteka welicha Nitu kaka santi tulina HIV Kwa wane HIV Because Ya 
How is it? The church thinks that sin is when you are doing something bad. That is the that is the worst lie. Yes, yeah, actually, sin is what causes you to do what you do. Uh-uh. You know, there is something that causes you. To then you go on to learn. When you learn, actually that is not HIV. That is not sin. HIV is this thing that has caused you to go and learn. What Jesus came to kill is not things that causes you to go and you why? That is the worst enemy of God and man. Leave alone that fake thing called Satan. You don't So, when Jesus comes, okay? I mean, this is what I mean. Now, Jesus, yes. Becomes flesh. What called incarnation? Why does it become flesh? So that he can fulfill the law on your behalf. Do 
How? Atia. Not by surrender Christians. When he died, Bayafa, the law had been fulfilled. That's how it went down. The death of Jesus means hey, law can no longer control you to sin. Yeah. That's what it means. Now, you remain. Now we are the one. Now, this is a new law. We call it the law of spirit and life. Now, the last corner, right? Now, when you continue, now, you are married to Christ. Okay? When you keep doing the law, yet you are married to Christ. Do you know what to call that? Unfaithfulness. Let me write it. This man is coming. Don't go. This is me. Don't lie at me. Don't laugh at this man. This is Mr. Lu. Now, Akati. at first, Soka, eh? mm. I was married to the roof. Mm. Eh? Mm. When Christ dies, Christ over far, eh? mm. I am married to him. It's like this. Eh? Mm. Now, Akati. when I am married to Christ, when I Christ, and then I sneak and I'm keeping the last way. Eh? Mm. We call that what? Unfaithfulness. And what do you know about unfaithfulness? Where you don't please God. What faith means pleasing God. Now, you have been married to Christ like this. So we look at this. So what has brought about this? It is the death of Christ. Christ is death. It is what controlled you. Is what kept you away from law which causes you to sin. Right now, your new law is Christ. Follow now. What will take you to hell if you don't keep this law? Not the other one. But don't forget, no, it is nonsense I'm telling you. This one is tough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very tough. It is tough. No, look here. For Moses, eh, Musa, you must be found sleeping with a woman. Eh? Mm. Now, with this one, eh, yeah, even me yeah. are looking. No, you have not slept. You have broken. So, you think you have survived? No. You know you can do that. That is what called the death of Christ. The death of Christ broke away the law so that you have a new law. Amen? Amen? That is all. You can go back and say. That's what it means by the death of Christ. Amen? Hallelujah. And I end there. Just tell me what you have learned.